The MetaQuest 3 is a good, mostly affordable VR system, but it's not perfect. The controllers are slippery and it's annoying to remove their batteries, and the most comfortable official head strap is a little expensive. That's where Kiwi comes in, with a pair of affordable accessories that solve some annoyances. Let's check them out. I'm going to start with Kiwi's controller grips, as I think they're the better of the two accessories. For $25, you get a pair of silicone covers that slip right over the MetaQuest 3 controllers. It's easy to put on, and once it's on, they stay locked in place without any slippage. And speaking of slippage, the texture of these controllers is grippy, so I finally feel like I don't have to worry about accidentally throwing my controllers during an intense session of Supernatural or Beat Saber. But that's not actually my favorite part about these particular controller grips. They come in two variants, and the version I'm testing has battery covered doors. If you've ever replaced the batteries in a MetaQuest controller, you know how annoying it is. The cover doesn't slide off that easy, and the battery is jammed tight. But these little cover grips feature a built-in door that's just held by pressure. It opens when you want it without much effort, and they also have a little plastic tab so you can lift the battery out easily. Now, full disclosure, on one occasion, one of the cover grip battery doors did open on me, and I lost the battery mid-session. But I think I didn't get it sealed well, and it's never happened again, and that was when I first got these grips. Like I said, installing this is really easy. If you have the battery variant, the first thing you'll do is take off the default battery door and slip on Kiwi's version. It goes right in place of the old and snaps in place. Then you'll make sure and take the tab, which you have to attach and tuck it in and push the battery over top of it while leaving some of the tab available and out. And then it's just a matter of slipping the cover over. It, it's a snug fit, so it takes a little bit of work, but it's not that bad. And once you do get it on, it doesn't want to come off. The battery door itself is a pressure fit, so just push good and tight all around and you're done. And these things are just wonderful. Great texture, the strap around the hand is nice, although if you have very large hands, they might not fit. I've got this about as large as it can go and it's just right for my medium-sized hands. They do go smaller though, so they fit well with small hands. And they do have openings for the sensors so the controllers still work right. I haven't had any additional problems with the controllers working correctly since I put these on, other than in Supernatural, which has always been buggy for me, so I don't know if it's the covers or the game. I suspect the game. Overall, extremely pleased, especially considering the low price. I think you should buy these. Kiwi also offers an elite strap-like head strap, and it's worth talking about too. I'm a little less enthused about this one, but there's some things to like, namely the price. It's $30, which is less than half the $70 elite strap. And so while I'm about to mention some negatives, I think they're worth overlooking just because of that price difference. The biggest issue is the turn dial in the back. It's small and feels flimsy. It's clearly not as high quality as the Elite Straps head dial. And while it hasn't broken, and I have no indication it will, it just doesn't feel as good. It does, however, fit well. And there's two cushy additions you won't find on the Elite Strap, here at the back of the head and up top as well. I've been using this for a couple of months and I've never felt any pain that I don't get with the Elite Strap. The cushions are somewhat take it or leave it. They don't do much for me, but I think they could be more comfortable for some people, and at least they don't make things worse. I do, however, mostly like this hinge add-on. It makes putting the headset on a whole lot easier compared to the completely stiff Elite strap. However, the hinge also causes me a slight issue. My current stand for this expects a fixed weight and it doesn't want to sit correctly unless I actually open up the hinge, at which point things look weird. I like my stand to look nice, but that's just kind of a nitpick. Overall, it's hard to get excited about head straps, but the bottom line is this one does the job and costs less than half as much of the Elite strap. It doesn't feel as high as quality, but it works. If you want something that does feel high quality, get the Elite strap. But if you want to save money, for about 45% of the price, you can get something at least as 80% as good, and that's a good deal in my book. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this mini review. If you stuck around this long, would you consider subscribing? I've got a lot more coming, including a laptop that's very repairable, and it's not even from Framework. Until next time, bye!